And drafting the elevation of your dream house for a one-story house is like this floor plan. The first thing that you're going to do is to set up your paper in this way. Above, you can find here the bun paper with your floor plan. And below it, directly below it, is a bun paper for the elevation drawing that you're going to draw. For this purpose, the elevation drawing that we're going to draw is the front elevation. Initially, after fastening your drawing paper, we're going to draw these four reference lines. These are the NGL or the natural ground line. Next, we have FFL or finished floor line. Then, RBL or roof beam line this is exactly the top of the roof beam and al or the apex or apex line the distances of these lines are the following for ngl to ffl in your drawing this is only six millimeters for the distance from ffl to RBL, we have 3,000 millimeters or only 30 millimeters in your drawing or 3 centimeters. Then, lastly, the distance from RBL to AL is 2,000 millimeters and in your drawing using a scale of 1 is 200, this is only 2 centimeters or 20 millimeters. After drawing these four reference lines, we're going to locate the actual length of the ridge row. From this floor plan, this line here and these two points of intersections will be projected below using a construction line. And the point of intersection of these two lines with your AL or apex line is what we're going to locate. So this is it. These two lines represents the points of intersection from both ends of the ridge line or the ridge row. This is it. Take note this line should be drawn using very, very light lines since these are construction lines. Together with your reference lines, you are going to draw these lines using construction lines. After drawing these lines, that represents the actual length of the ridge line, we're going to draw this green or yellow green and blue lines. What do you think are these lines? First, we have here this green or yellow green line. This is the outermost part of the column. Actually, we are supposed to draw it from here. Since this corner is the lower right corner of this major part of the house that we should consider. But since this column is also aligned with this one, we draw line from this corner only. And next, we're going to draw this blue line. This blue line represents the roof line. This is a line for the fascia board, the inner part of the gutter. And the gutter will be added to this distance from the wall. And that idea will be explained later. This time, we're going to draw these two green lines. First, this first green line, horizontal line, represents the, the apex of the roof or the ridge line. Secondly, this inclined line, the temporary slope or inclination of the roof. This line will be drawn from this point of intersection. This intersection projected from the apex part or this corner of the roof point of intersection of these three lines, the apex line, 
as well as these two red lines. Then this line will be drawn from this point, as I said, that passes through this point of intersection. This point of intersection is the intersection between RBL and this green line, which is the outermost part of the column. And this line terminates in this blue line. So this is it. At this moment, we're going to draw this blue line. And as you notice, we have here this pink line that separates between this temporary line for the roof and then this actual slope or inclination of the roof. Why is it necessary for us to have this space represented by this pink line? For the information of everybody, this line, 3 millimeter line in this drawing, and the actual space for this is 30 centimeters or 300 millimeters. This distance is a space provided for the presumed roof framing to be placed between the beam line and the roofing sheets or the actual roofing materials that will be used since the actual roofing materials will be fastened to the roof framing system so this space is allotted for the roof framing system that will be placed in here all right let's proceed how are we going to do this line this line will be drawn perpendicular to this green line. Perpendicular is a line drawn at 90 degrees at its other. These two lines are perpendicular or at 90 degrees at its other. From this point here, you're going to draw the blue line that passes through this point and that will intersect this construction line representing the roof line. Okay, this is it. This is the blue line and to be drawn towards this. Sometimes this point of intersection is aligned with the RBL but most of the time this is not aligned to the RBL. So this is it. This is now the blue line that represents the actual slope of the roof. This time we're going to draw this red line. This red line is a 3 millimeter line. Actually, this is 30 centimeters in actual width, vertical width of our fascia board. The fascia board should be drawn from this point of intersection. The point of intersection of this actual slope of the roof, the uppermost part of the roof, that intersect with this blue line which represents the roof line. This is the line what that was drawn from the roof line here. So, from that point of intersection, the intersection of this blue line and this blue dark line or heavy line shall be your basis from where you are going to draw this red line. So, from here, you are going to draw a 3 millimeter line down here. The next thing that we're going to draw are these two parallel lines representing the fascia board. How are we going to draw this? We are going to draw these lines first. What are these lines? This blue line is the leftmost roof line of the major part of the house. This is the counterpart of this blue line here. Next, we're going to draw this green line. This green line represents the outer leftmost corner of the column as shown. And this should be drawn until the NGL. So this is it. After locating this, you're going to draw these two lines. What is the purpose of this blue line? The purpose of this is to be the terminal, terminal point of this blue line representing the fascia board. After drawing this fascia board, we're going to complete the outline of the roof. First, first, you're going to draw this ridge line here and then 
from this point of intersection, we're going to draw another line to this point. Okay, this is now the outline of your roof. First, the roof of this major part of the house. 